Kayla, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by and please stick around. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. It means a lot to me. I'm excited. I have an Ipsy bag to share with you today. I know I'm not really good at sharing them all the time or every month, but I want to get better at it because I love seeing what other ladies receive in their Ipsy bags. Everyone receives something different, so I'm going to show you what I received this month. So for those of you that do not know, Ipsy is a beauty subscription service that you pay $10 a month for. And they send you five items, usually sample size items, based on a style profile that you fill out on their website. Now, I'm old, so I can't remember exactly what the profile consisted of, but I think it was skin tone, hair color, eye color, your preferences for the colors that you like to wear for your makeup, kind of along those lines. And then based on your profile, they send you those five items. So I've been on the fence with Ipsy. Some months I've loved everything and some months I've just kind of been like, eh, no, that was okay. But I'm gonna share with you what I received. Ipsy comes in a little cute pink bag like this and then I already opened it, but inside the bag, you get another cute pouch. Every month it's different. This month, my friend Leanna, I think, would love this cute little pouch. I thought of her when I saw it, so I think I'm going to give it to her. And then they put the five items in this pouch. This pouch has come in handy because I throw, like, my makeup in here or my lipsticks for touch-ups and then throw it in my purse and I'm good to go. So they do come in handy. Even, like, beach days during the summer, you can bring these for, like, your cell phone, your money. But anyway, I could go on and on about the use of these bags. So let's go over the five items that I received this month. So first we have Juliet has a gun. It's a perfume and it's called Sunny Side Up. So I'm not good at describing scents of perfume. So I'm not going to try because <laughs> it's really, ooh. Oh, that smells really nice though. I wish I could describe what it smelled like. But anyway, I've never heard of this brand before. Juliet has a gun. Have you guys? But it smells very nice. I hope it's long lasting. Try that this week. Okay, next I have, this is by Half Caked and it's a lip fondant. Amber, you love this. Look at how cute. It's like a donut with the sprinkles. And then the ins, oh, look at the top of it too. So it's like a pink color, but it's not a true pink. It's more like a dusty, I think rose kind of color. And I'm not gonna try it on my lips because I have my red lipstick on, but let me show you on my hand what it looks like. Whoops. See, it's not like a true, true pink. It's more like that dusty, dusty rose, kind of mauve maybe like a berry, not, maybe not a berry, I don't know but it, the name of it is Lover Boy. The name of the cover color is Lover Boy. So that's cute, I like that. This is probably a good color for me because I can't wear neutrals, like those nudes and stuff like that because it just really washes me out. So this might become my nude color if that makes sense or my neutral color if that makes sense because I, it, those colors just wash me out. So for the days that I want to wear a lip color but don't want to be too bold, this might be the color for me. So thank you, Ipsy, for sending me that. Next I have, whoops, sorry about that. This is by Glamour Dolls, and it's a mascara in black. So let me show you the applicator because I feel like it's so important to see the applicator and the wand. So here it is. Can you see that? So this looks like a good wand. I'm really happy that they sent me a mascara. They must have known what I needed somehow this month because I ordered a mascara from Sephora that won't be in for a couple of days. So I was just about to run to Target to kind of get a filler one to hold me over. But now I don't need to buy one. I'm still going to Target because I just love Target. But anyway, I won't need to pick up a mascara because this will hold me over. I'm happy to try this and see how it looks and works for me. I haven't heard of the Glamour Dolls brand, but 
and might work out for me because I like the way that wand looks. Next I have, this is by Tarte and it's a Shape Tape Contour Concealer. So here's the little container that it comes in. The lighting, can you see? Cute. I like Tarte, the brand. I have some other items from Tarte that I'm really happy with. However, this is one of these items, the, con the contour items. I'm not good at contouring. My friend Katie has tried to show me how to contour and she does a fantastic job on my face when she contours me. But I just can't seem to grasp it myself. So I don't know. I've Some of my other friends, like my friend Liz is good at it. I just, I'm not good at it. I, I don't know why I can't do it myself. I'm trying to learn, but I just can't for some reason do it. Um, but if I don't use this product, I'll pass it on to them because they're really good at it and they always look really fantastic. So that's a nice product. But anyway, and then lastly, oh, that was five already. Hmm, okay. Or four. This is fifth sun. This is by Sundays. Whoops. I got the lip color from my hand on it. I'm so sorry. Sundays and oh, it's a nail color. It's kind of like a burgundy color. That's really pretty. Can you see the... There's no name of the color, but it just says number 18. So I think the brand is Sundays and then the name of the color is number 18. So I'm happy to try this for fall too. I love my red, but I think I need to transition to fall with burgundy. So I'll probably try this this week also. But anyway, those were my five products from Ipsy. I'm really happy this month with what I received and I'm excited to give all of my products a try, including the, con the concealer or the contour. I'll try my best to use it. I can't guarantee that it'll look right. But anyway, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I can't wait to see what everybody else received in their Ipsy bag. So please share. And again, I appreciate you stopping by. And I'll see you soon for more unboxings. I think I've got a mix and match, which is quickly becoming one of my favorites on the way. So stay tuned and have a great rest of your day.